The book, Doorways to Significance, Finding Peace, Power, and Passion, is really a book about my spiritual transformation and changes, most especially a noticeable and dramatic change when I was age 50. And so I tell a little bit about how it all started. My story actually begins when I was first born, and that's really the beginning of the book. I was taken home with another family, and another family took the, a wrong baby home also. Both families brought the wrong babies, or the opposite babies, back to the hospital. They were exchanged. But the purpose of that story in my life really guided the way I lived my life with the limiting belief that I really never, ever belonged. Could this really be my family? I am an African-American woman. I was an Amer African-American child, but I didn't look like or uh, felt that I belonged to and fit in with my African-American family, uh, where my family was uh, a lot darker in terms of skin tone than my own skin tone. So I continued to look outside, and then when I'd see myself in a mirror, I would see not just what was going on outside, but also what was going on inside. And um, I was encouraged to believe that I didn't fit in. I did, however, later meet a wonderful man that became my husband. Um, and so he was my soulmate, I felt. We had two lovely children and just had some wonderful experiences. And so for many, many years, 29 years, 11 months, and seven days, I was married. And then our marriage fell apart. So we divorced, and that was the time at which, at age 50, I joined the Peace Corps. Now, who ever heard of a 50-year-old in the Peace Corps? That's for young college students who come right out of the university. So I chose to walk away from what I thought was the place that I needed to be and doing the things that I thought and took the risk to make a new decision toward my dream, never remembering at the moment that I wanted to travel abroad. Well, guess what? I was able to go to 16 different countries. I had extreme cultural experiences, both living in Asia and then after that, living in the Middle East, I was also uh, based in Kuwait. I didn't have time to think about um, how bad it was in my own life or whether I fit in or not. I didn't fit in. I didn't know the language. Um, I couldn't read the language, couldn't write it. But I did learn that you can teach an old dog new tricks. The best thing that ever happened to me is that people ask me, uh, or would say to me, Kun Pat, uh, you are a very special woman. You are very kind and very loving. They didn't know me, and I couldn't say, oh, no, that's not true. What I had to do was to accept their unconditional love and kindness. So everything was, in my estimation, divine plan. But my heart was open. I've learned how to accept myself, and in that process, others accept me the same way. I would hope that everybody that reads the book will understand that and come to know for themselves that it's never too late to change the brokenness. We all experience brokenness in our own lives, different for each of us, and yet alike in the sense that if we're broken, we have the option to change it and to fix it. So I'd like for everyone who reads the book to know that in each of you, you have the ability to identify your brokenness and to change it. You don't have to live with the ending to the story of your life. 
that you had yesterday, you can change that. 